Motorola has gained quite the reputation for affordable smartphones, and the Motorola One Macro is the latest to hit the market. The display of the device certainly isn't macro, and is a 6.2-inch IPS HD Plus display with a 1520 by 720 pixel resolution at 259 pixels per inch. The water drop notch at the top might not be to everybody's liking, but this does allow for an 82% screen to body ratio which is striking to the eye. Indeed, the 19 to 9 aspect ratio is tall and slender, although a peak brightness of 480 nits and a 1757 to 1 contrast ratio is on the lower end of the spectrum, but don't forget that this is a budget device. Indeed, you probably get what you pay for when it comes to the display. The large screen sign certainly has its pros, however, combining this with the low resolution results in clear pixel density issues. That said, Motorola allow you to set the colour saturation level of the display, choosing from three presets, natural, boosted and saturated, to tailor to your liking. Peak display allows you to view notifications directly from your screen, whilst attentive display keeps your screen on whilst you're looking at it, or whilst in front of your face. Display aside, the Motorola One Macro is a generally good looking device. It's crafted from plastic to save on costs, however this does make it lighter and more durable than its aluminium and glass counterparts. It weighs just 186 grams overall, and at 157.6 times 75.4 times 9 mm is easily pocket friendly. That said, whilst the splash resistant nano coating gives it an IPX2 rating, there's no Gorilla Glass for protection against bumps and scratches. The subtle gradient from top to bottom is a really nice touch though, although I did find that the polycarbonate frame has been quite fingerprint prone. The fingerprint scanner is to the rear, emphasised by that logo, and has been pretty quick in the time that I've had with the device. Whilst close up photography is at the heart of the One Macro, it actually comes with a triple lens rear setup. This consists of a 13 megapixel main lens with an f2.0 aperture, that dedicated 2 megapixel macro lens with an f2.2 aperture, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor also with an f2.2 aperture, to help with that all important foreground background separation for portrait photography. That dedicated macro camera supports autofocus, meaning it can focus from distances as close as 2 centimeters. Results were mixed in my time with the device, and it sometimes took longer than expected for the device to focus, but all in all, an impressive amount of detail is captured. Overall, the camera app is very easy to navigate. A number of nifty features are also included, such as spot colour, which isolates a single colour within an image, and live filter. Cinema Graph takes a burst of shorts and then allows you to highlight sections of the image to allow them to move, whilst the remainder is stationary. The One Macro also allows you to shoot a time lapse and slow motion video. Video recording is supported at up to full HD at 120 frames per second from the rear camera. You can also record with macro shots, although this is limited to 720p. If selfies are more your thing, then the front camera is an 8 megapixel sensor with an f2.2 aperture. The front camera software also allows for a heap of bonuses, including face beauty, auto smile capture, portrait mode, cinema graph, slow-mo video and time lapse. You can also shoot full HD video through the front lens at 30 frames per second. The Motorola One Macro is powered by 4GB of RAM and a MediaTek Helio P70 processor, which is one of the faster chipsets within the budget smartphone world. An update to Android 10 is on the way, however the One Macro ships with Android 9 Pie in box, modified only slightly by some very small additions from Motorola. I'm a big fan of Moto Actions, which utilise simple actions for basic phone uses. A double karate-like action will turn you on your phone torch, whilst two twists work to open your camera. It also has sensors that detect movement, so if you're close to your device then basic information will show on the display. For a device of this standing, the 4000 milliamp battery is outstanding, and should get you close to two days of usage, depending upon how you use your device. The One Macro also ships with a 10 watt fast charger in box to get you a backup and running in no time. Rounding things up, the Motorola One Macro supports a micro SD card of up to 512GB if the 64GB internal storage is not enough, has a 3.5mm headphone jack, a USB Type-C port, but unfortunately no support for NFC. Now, Motorola has developed quite the reputation for its range of affordable smartphones, and the One Macro, while slightly specialised, doesn't do that any harm at all. 
Whether a specialised macro lens is enough for you to purchase a device is your choice. But at only $179.99 including VAT from Clove Technology, you can't really go wrong. Now make sure you subscribe to our channel for all of the latest news and reviews and I'll catch you again soon.